Mobo time. Bunch of packages here. Got this massive thing here. Was it lots of small things? I'm not sure. Let's see what's in the first thing. There have a links down below for most of these things, as always. They always are. If I can give a link, I will give you one. So it's got some ring terminals here. Uh, what size are these? 6.6. Uh, six, six. So 6 mil bit square, 6 mil hole. That's what those mean, I think they're all the same. That's a 10.6. 8.6 is it? 8.8. Eight. And a 10.6 again. So yeah, a few different sizes. Not particularly exciting, but these are handy things to have when you're doing any kind of automotive kind of stuff really because you need to have like grounding terminals or add things to battery terminals things like that put one of these ring terminals around the bolt and off you go you know you could earth something out quite easily they're cheap and I was getting a bit low on them Right, it's a USB 3 hub, let's check in the terminals, it claims to be USB 3, see? USB and 3, so 7 port hub, interesting why it's 7 ports, so another one, anyway, this one's got switches on it, so you can individually turn on and off each port, and I thought that was a nice little feature, so if you've got several things you want to control and switch them on and off, you could just do that, I'm guessing these only switch the power pins, not the data pins or something like that, I don't know, but I thought it'd be interesting, it wasn't very expensive. The idea originally was that I could hook up my um, webcams that I use for my live streams onto one of these, and I could turn them off when I'm not using them, or just maybe switch them on and off as, as required, you know, if I've got two which do the same sort of thing, you know, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I'm tempted to put it apart. Hmm. Maybe not today. Oh, well, I'm failing on this one. Sounds a bit jingly, it might be small terminals. No? Okay, I showed something in my last one bag, and this is another version of the same thing. It's one of these Z axis upgrade kits, which use the belt drive and some pulleys on the top of the um, lead screws and this is a tensioner so the one I showed last week which is still sitting in this box here because I just recorded it this morning that's got these lead screws in it as well whereas this is just the bolt-on kit that assumes you've already got two lead screws um, yeah so this is basically going to tie the two lead screws together so I'm going to use this kit here to upgrade my Ender 3 V2 to a dual lead screw but I already have done that kind of I've used a dual stepper motor but as I said in the last mail bag if you didn't see that I'll explain it again they can go out of sync, so you can actually have your you can actually have your Z gantry horizontal, right? It should be horizontal, but because you can turn each stepper motor individually when there's no power applied, they could actually tip the axis over. You can actually tip the gantry over a little bit and end up being slightly off angle. And the idea is that you put one of these kits on and make sure that they can't turn independently even with the powers turned off. That's the plan anyway. Ooh. Toyota genuine parts apparently. So I know what these are. It's a bit crushed, I hope it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's alright. It's a cabin filter. So most cars, most newer cars at least, have a filter inside the air conditioning system or vent system, or whatever. So you have the external filters outside your car for your engine. You can have one of these inside your car for your breathable air. And you can help get rid of pollens and all sorts of stuff like that apparently. It's good to change them out every once in a while. And I got some from overseas because they're cheap. Why not? My one's due for a new I think. It's been there for at least a year. Probably longer than that. And um, yeah, I do a lot of K's so it's had a bit of use. Time to put a new one in. Okay, I almost forgot this. I did all the closing part and everything. And I forgot this one. I don't know how, I'm practically dripping over the thing. I'm going to open up one end and I'll pull it out of this packaging and try and give us a head start because it's going to be ridiculous trying to do some camera. Right, I've got the box opened. Let's have a look. 
I think I know what this is. Of course, you've got the obligatory cling film. You always have to have some cling film on anything from China. So let's see what else we've got here. I know what these are. Oh, there we go. It's one of these visor things, well, sun shield, storm shield things, what you want to call them. Monsoons, also we called that in some places. So these will hopefully go on my car. They should be the right ones. They, the solders are the right ones. So you stick them on. It's got these little hooks on these ones too. Is that one? It's got a full set, so it should be the front ones as well. And hopefully these are broken from being in the post in that box getting squashed. You never know, do you? They would be fairly resistant to breakage, but you never know. Been crushed, wasn't it? So that's one of the front ones. That looks alright. Another one, so these are for a Toyota Orion, which is very much like a Camry. So I think it might fit the camera as well, actually, I'm not sure. For a 2010. I've done some videos on a car already, fixing various things and do some work on it. Do one about the fog lights, because the fog lights were mounted on the wrong side, so they faced upwards instead of down. I don't know whoever did that anyway. So yes, here's the full set and it's got some scratches at this end where it's been rubbing on another one but it doesn't matter. It's not like I'm going to be looking through it really is it? So <laughs> the main thing is to try and keep the sun off a little bit and try and keep the rain out a little bit as well if it does rain and you've got the window open slightly so you can get some ventilation and stuff. Especially when the air conditioning doesn't work like mine doesn't right now. I'm working on fixing that, doing a video. Right, now I'm done. So check out links down below for other videos maybe interested in watching. Subscribe over here if you're not already subscribed. Well, about there somewhere. And Patreon supporting over there if you want to help me to buy things for like car parts. Or not.